Now, the Stone Cold Stunner debuted in 1996, and since then, the move has become one of the most famous finishing moves of all time. It was made famous by the legendary Stone Cold Steve Austin, and the move was the perfect finisher for his anti-authoritative, no-nonsense character that propelled WWE to the next level in the 1990s. Now, there have been some downright iconic sells of the Stunner, from The Rock's trademark over-the-top sell of the move to Austin Theory's impressive sell at WrestleMania 38. However, there have been some stunners that have been so bad that they've received audible laughs from the audience. This usually comes down to the superstar taking the move not having a clue how to sell it and consequently making the move look absolutely terrible. But which times were they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at the top 10 worst Stone Cold stunners in WWE history. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Tim White on Sunday Night Heat in 1999. Now, the main event of the June 6, 1999 episode of Sunday Night Heat saw China defeat Val Venus, and after the match took place, Stone Cold Steve Austin ran into the ring to lay out everyone in sight. But during Austin's violent outburst, he hit his trademark stunner on everyone with a pulse, and this included referees. But one of the more infamous stunners during this segment was to legendary Attitude Era referee Tim White. Austin wasn't able to get a grip on White, but White rather hilariously decided to sell the move anyway. It looked pretty awful, and it showed why some referees should never take moves from in-ring talent. Number 9. Vince McMahon on Raw in 1997 A Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vince McMahon's feud was iconic. It defined the Attitude Era, and it's widely regarded as the greatest rivalry in WWE history. The feud began in 97 and it truly took off when Austin began to reject the authoritative nature of WWE and do whatever he wanted, whenever he pleased. On an episode of Raw in 97, Vince would take the Stone Cold Stunner for the first time ever. It received an enormous ovation, but Vince's sell of the move was simply awful. He sold the move awkwardly, but then proceeded to shake on the ring canvas as if he was having an out-of-body experience. Although the sell of the move wasn't great, if Vince didn't sell the move in this ridiculous manner, it's entirely possible that the segment wouldn't have been as memorable as it would go on to become. Number 8. Sergeant Slaughter on Raw in 1998 and During the Attitude Era, nobody was safe from a Stone Cold Stunner. On the Raw before WrestleMania 14, Austin was once again causing chaos and he set his sights on WWE official Sergeant Slaughter. Slaughter's sell of the stunner was rather unique, and it's up to personal opinion whether it's a terrible stunner or an incredible one. But the issue with this one is that he sells the move as if he's taking an RKO. Slaughter seems to roll over his shoulder and lands on his face. It looked rather deadly, but it's not exactly the safest and easiest way to sell the illustrious finishing move. Number 7. Goldberg at WrestleMania 20 One of the top matches on the WrestleMania 20 card was the match between Brock Lesnar and Goldberg with Stone Cold Steve Austin as the guest referee. But the crowd turned on the match after it was uncovered that both were set to leave WWE and the MSG crowd wanted to show the two former world champions what they really thought of them. The match was slow, messy and Austin was the most overstar in the match. Huge Austin can't going up. But once the match was over, Austin hit a stunner on both men to the delight of the crowd. Lesnar's sell of the stunner was great, as Lesnar is one of the best pure sellers in WWE history. However, Goldberg's sell of the move wasn't. He virtually no sold the move, and he already sat up seconds after Austin hit it. It was a lazy and selfish sell, and incredibly disrespectful to a pro wrestling legend. Number 6. Jim Ross, In Your House, Ground Zero the In Your House Ground Zero pay-per-view in 97 featured a segment where Stone Cold Steve Austin and Dude Love were to surrender the WWE tag titles. For the segment, the unorthodox tag team were interviewed by Jim Ross and naturally the segment ended with JR receiving a Stone Cold Stunner. The Stunner though was insanely awkward and JR not being an in-ring talent certainly didn't help in this terrible Stunner being performed. Looking back, it was interesting to see Austin perform a stunner on a man that would become one of his best friends both inside and outside of the WWE. Number 5. Michael Cole on Raw in 2011 now Back in 2011, the top heel in WWE was, yeah, Michael Cole. That's right, the longtime WWE commentator somehow, someway became the top heel in the entire company. Cole's heel presence dominated WWE programming and some fans felt like it overshadowed a lot of the WWE superstars. 
but during one specific segment during Cole's heel run, he would be hit by a Stone Cold Stunner and Cole's shoulder move by rolling through and standing straight back up. Cole was then hit with an AA by John Cena, finally putting him down. The Stunner had never looked so weak, as Cole instantly popped up from the move and it was a terrible decision to have Cole sell Austin's finisher in this lackluster manner. Number 4 Vince McMahon again on Raw in 2001 One of the biggest main events in Raw history took place on the October 29, 2001 edition of Raw. It saw Vince McMahon collide with Shane McMahon in a WrestleMania 17 rematch, but this was in the midst of the Invasion storyline and there was a ton of anticipation for the match. But the match was absolute chaos and it featured interference from virtually all the top names involved in the Invasion storyline. The finish of the match came when the heel version of Stone Cold Steve Austin performed a stunner on Vince, allowing Shane to get the victory. The stunner though was truly atrocious, as Vince decided to sell and take the bump before Austin had even completed the move. It didn't help that due to the amount of superstars in the ring, there was no space for Vince to even take the move and at that point it was without a doubt the worst sell of a stunner ever performed. And number 3 Linda McMahon on Raw in 2005 Linda McMahon was never an official in-ring talent, and for good reason as fans found out when she was hit with the Stone Cold Stunner on Raw in the Homecoming show in 2005. The show featured Austin performing a stunner on every single member of the McMahon family and this included Linda herself. The Texas Rattlesnake treated her with respect as he was extremely careful with Linda and he made virtually no contact with the move at all. Linda sold the move by falling to the canvas as if she had just fallen out of bed. It was downright hilarious and often labelled as the worst stunner of all time, but that is until 2007 as number 2 Donald Trump at WrestleMania 23. Now, the hair vs hair battle of the billionaires match at WrestleMania 23 saw Bobby Lashley represent Donald Trump whilst Umaga would represent Vince McMahon. Stone Cold Steve Austin would act as the guest referee and this match specifically made WrestleMania 23 a monumental financial success. Once Lashley obtained the victory, Austin, Lashley and Trump would shave the head of the WWE Chairman. Austin would then hit a stunner on the future US President. Trump had no idea how to sell the stunner and he just kind of stumbled over. Nevertheless, it became one of the most iconic and most replayed moments in WrestleMania history. And number 1 Vince McMahon at WrestleMania 38 a WrestleMania 38 featured an in-ring return of Stone Cold Steve Austin after 19 years. Austin would face Kevin Owens in the main event of night 1 of the show and his return match received widespread praise from fans. But on night 2 of the show Vince McMahon would defeat Pat McAfee in an impromptu matchup and as Vince and his protege Austin Theory were celebrating, the glass shattered and Austin stormed down to the ring. Here an incredible stunner on Austin Theory and then Austin hit the single worst stunner of all time on Vince McMahon. But once Austin kicked Vince in the midsection, Vince awkwardly stumbled into the ropes as the commentators covered up that he tried to escape and then Austin had to literally grab Vince's head to attempt the move again. Vince then awkwardly stumbled to the ground and it was one of the funniest moments in WWE history and fans absolutely lost it. It was so funny that Austin couldn't even contain himself and proceeded to burst out laughing at the utter hilarity of what had just unfolded in the ring. But there you have it folks, the top 10 worst ever Stone Cold Stunners in WWE history. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.